We bought it. We're gonna use it. This is a new segment called Will It Pump? <laughs> So we showed you in a previous video about the whiskey pump. Link to that video is in the description. You're supposed to rapid age at least five years-ish. So what we decided to do is if it would make Evan Williams bottled and bond taste better, right. maybe we could improve the taste of some other things. So we're calling it, don't <laughs> So we're gonna take some uh, things that we have around the nook here and run it through the pump, see if it tastes better. Grease, what do we got first? First, and I mean, I typically love play on words. Am I using that right? Yeah. It's a play on words? Well, yeah, like Is the like podcast, whiskeytainment.com if you want to go to Whiskey Weekend. Uh, all sorts of puns yeah. and play on words. Podcast.com slash store to get your <laughs> black glens. Greens, what do we got first? <sighs> well, we just said, will it pump, right? Mm hmm. What do you. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Will it? This is, this is an 18 year old Willet. Let me go ahead and tell you something. What's better than an 18 year old Willet will? Adding five years to that, making it a 23 year old Willet. Right. Might as well be uh, uh, open season at the high school dance. Okay. Step one insert the chip. Step two open the Willet. Step three insert Willet. Step four, activate submarine mode. Step six, pump it like there's no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, okay. There's not a tomorrow. Why's your grip so bad? I poured a lot in there. I did not mean to put that much. Okay. Come in. So you better get this. Will it pump in? Cheers, my friend. Twenty-three year old instant will it. That smells good. Pretty good nose. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a uh, one bottle of forty-eight here. Let me go ahead and tell you the oak influence. Pretty harsh on this. It's honestly one of the reasons why we didn't rate this as a thousand dollar buy, which number, there's nothing a thousand dollar buy. Didn't ruin it. I'd argue, I would a hundred percent argue that it's better. I swear on my life. I kind of think it is too. Here, taste. Get your other glass. I had a swig of it before, so I already know it's better. I need, right. I need you to tell me and you're going to be upset. Nose is better. Because uh, on, on the, on the non- Pumped. On the non-pumped, the nose is better? Non-pumped, the nose is better. I love the nose on the pumped. The palate on the pumped is, is better. Really? Yes. That's what I say. That one is a lot more drying, a lot more tannic. I mean, what it did was strip some of the years off of it, probably, instead right. of adding years to it. But uh, but I would argue it was over up. So I would say something that's younger, that you need a more oak influence for. It helps with, or something, something older. that's over oaked. This helps strip it a little bit. Yeah, just gonna be honest with All you. All right, what do we got next, Grease? Here's what the deal is. You know how beers right now are like, oh, barrel aged style. I don't like feeling your skin on my skin. I'm not wearing a normal shirt this week. You need to back up a little bit. That's like a normal thing right now. That's like like all the moms are doing it. All right, so here's the deal. So sometimes beers. They're like aged in barrels, right? This is a Hoppin' Frog, okay? This is a barrel-aged Boris Royale. They call it Royale with wood, stout aged in whiskey barrels, okay? Let me just go ahead and tell you this. You got one of them bottle openers? No, I'm gonna have to just... Oh, You got a lighter? Here. Oh. You are so boss mode right now. Like, dude, like, yes! Twist it around, smell like a hell Yeah! We got a, you know, like. That <laughs> looks like motor oil. So. That's what the beer looks like. We're gonna need to strip that. All right, this is gonna explode the pump. Because, here we go. Back up, everyone. I don't think that it's Don't try do, this at home. I don't think it's gonna do what you think it's gonna do. Oh. 
Okay. Well, it's not going to explode. However, that. Whoa, that, the pressure's building. Is it? Yeah, you can feel <laughs> it. You the, see, the, it's the, harder the, to do. The resistance on the <laughs> pump. <laughs> yeah, typically the more I pump it, the more resistance yeah, there you're is. Doing that, you're doing that thing where you're touching me again. It's, mm. Yeah. This is a proper vessel for a barrel aged stout. Yeah. 100%. D we could call it a double barrel aged stout. I don't know if I'm gonna. I love that we're like nosing the beer. <laughs> like it just smells like a stout. I know. I don't. I don't know if I'm in a beer. I don't know if I'm in a beer mood. You know what? It really brings out the vanilla in D the stout. Does it? Yeah. Open up that thing and ask that bingo piece if it's pissed. Here, give me that. I'm gonna put it in my mouth. How do you feel about it? I was gonna put it in my mouth. Oh, you can. All right, I feel like it's time. I don't know if it did anything to that. Yeah. <laughs> it um, kind of tastes the same. <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, I'm, I'm not in a beer mood right now. You know, now. you're going to need to be in both a pump mood and a beer mood, and then bingo, bango, bongo, you do it. Fast forward, you got three kids. Yeah. <laughs> we, we couldn't end this without a... Um, right. Without something that... Without a cleanup hitter, is what Will is trying yeah. to say. Shelf turds, David and Kira, thank you so much for this great idea on this show. What do we got? We've got Fire. Fireball. Now, let me go ahead and tell you something. This is obviously a perfect whiskey as is, so I don't necessarily know if we're going to... Yep. So, fun fact about Fireball... We are headed to our first ever pod cruise, which, by the way, coincidentally, that's the last time you wore that shirt on oh, the oh. pod cruise. No, no, no. Maybe the last time I wore it in public. Oh, okay. We are at the airport headed to the pod cruise, and I was like, hey, Will, you want to get this party started? And he said, yep. So I go to the bar, and I, I, I thought it was the waffles we had that morning. No. I went to the bar, and I said, can I get two doubles of Fireball? And they said yes, of, of course. Because it was a bar. Because it was a bar. No, man, I get turned down for that a lot. Yeah, no, they, they <laughs> we ain't got a fireball. Um, <laughs> the Gibson Cafe in the airport. So we just we just shot it, basically, is what I'm saying. Which, I didn't put enough fireball in here. Are you, no, you're doing it the wrong <laughs> end. Flip it. It's the one with holes. Mm. It looks more orange. I'm pretty sure that's stout. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of stout in there. Well, Patrick had one job. Oh, it smells like Christmas. Does it? Oh, yeah. Well, Christmas me. Three, two, one, shoot. I kind of like original Fireball. I don't know. It took a little bit of the sweetness off for me. I don't think you know what sweetness is. Here. Yeah, sugar. I do. I actually have had many sweet things. If you listen it why? Definitely like the pump fireball better. Definitely. Thousand percent buy on pump fireball. Okay. So pass what, on that swill. What we can do to bring this home. You know what I call that? Is say 66% of the time the pump works. Yeah. And the other 33% of the time you're putting beer through a pump. Can we call it a fire pump? I called it Swills a Rack, but that's a different story. All right, folks, support the channel at patreon.com slash the podcast. I'm Will. This is The Grease. Check back for more Will It Pump.